This is Ram Kumari, PG Department of Mathematics, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Now let me see the compactness, countability and separation axioms in topology. In this slide, we see the introduction of compactness. Compact, compact generalize the idea of closed and bounded sequences in the set have limits inside the set and no sequences run, run off to infinity. Consequently, every sequence has at least a convergence subsequence. The definition of compact is that every open cover has a finite subcover if you can find a collection of open sets whose union contains your set. Then just a finite number of those open sets will cover your set. Compactness is one of, one of the most important features of any topological spaces and plays a most significant role in all of the topology. Now let me see the definition of a compact space. Formally, a topological space X is called compact if each of its open covers as a finite subcover. Otherwise, it is called non-compact. Explicitly, this means that for every arbitrary collection, U alpha, alpha belongs to A of open subsets of X such that X equal to union of U alpha. Some branches of mathematics such as algebraic geometry typically influenced by the French school of Merkberkey uses the term compact as a topological space that are both Hausdorff and quasi-compact. A single compact set is sometimes referred to as a compact term following the Latin second neuter. The corresponding plural form is compact. Next we see the definitions of Countably compact space and sequentially compact space and definition of local connect compactness. In mathematics, a topological space is countable compact if every countable open cover has a finite subcover. Then in mathematics, a topological space is sequentially compact if every sequence has a convergent subsequence for general topological spaces. The notions of compactness and sequential compactness are not equivalent. They are however equivalent equivalent for metric then next we see the, the definition of local compactness a topological space x is called locally compact at a point x x if there exists a neighborhood ux is compact x is called locally compact if x is compact at every point then next we see the, the compact subspace a subspace of a topological space which is compact as a topological space in its in its own rights is to, said to be compact subspace. Definition of Hausdorff house space. Points X and Y in a topological space X can be separated by neighborhood if there exists a neighborhood U of X and a neighborhood V of Y such that U and V are disjoint. That means U intersection V equal to phi. X is a Hausdorff space if any two distinct points of X can be separated by neighborhoods. This condition is the third separation axiom which is why Hausdorff spaces are also called T2 spaces. The name separated spaces is also used. Next we see this separation properties or properties in topology. And the separation properties are T0, T1, T2, T2 and a half, T3, T3 and a half and T4. Combinations of separation of properties. Definition, uh, first definition is a space X is said to be completely Hausdorff if A and B belongs to X, A not equal to B if implies that exist open set U belongs to A, comma V belongs to B, U bar intersection V bar equal to phi. Next we see the, the regular and completely regular. The uh, the T1 uh, the metrisable implies normal and the normal implies completely regular. Completely regular implies regular. That means T2 and a half implies T2 implies T1 implies T0. Thank you.